What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to mix vocals in Cubase. Right here I'm on Cubase 12 and I'm going to be taking these vocals from this. To this. All of my enemies, I'm trampling up. Uh. All of my enemies, I'm trampling up. Uh. Many other people that I roll with, them I don't like me, but I stay focused. Always get the hit to say I'm not. I don't want to make this video so long, so I already kind of mixed the vocals. But I'll show you guys why I didn't hear. Let me play it again one more time, the raw vocals. All of my enemies, I'm trampling up. Uh. All of my enemies, I'm trampling up. Uh. Many other people that I roll with, them I don't like me. But I stay focused, always get there. So first thing you can hear is that the vocal is a bit noisy. And when I have some vocals, the first thing I always want to do is clean up the noise. And there are different ways you can clean up noise. Depending on the mic you have. If you have a chip mic, you might have a higher noise threshold on your chip mic. The noise I'm talking about is the white noise that goes like shh. Very, very subtle white noise. But you can always hear it if you turn up your preamp. But if you have a chip mic, that noise might be louder. And if you have an expensive mic, the noise might not be as loud. So one way to treat that is using this plugin from Waves called NS1. So NS1 just takes out all that mic noise. This vocal came in very, very, very noisy. Without the NS1, it sounds like this. And hear all the white noise. And if you put it back on, you play it again. All of my enemies, I'm try pulling up. All of my enemies, I'm try running up. Many and you always want to mess around the settings. Sometimes it's a bit too much. You have to compromise. If you increase it a lot, you might lose out on the quality of the recording. But I didn't want to lose so much, so I just raised it till I couldn't hear the noise so much. All of my enemies, I'm try pulling up. All of my and. I went ahead to add a gate, a noise gate. Noise gate, basically, anytime he's not allowed, it cuts out the background. If he's loud again, it allows the vocals to pass through. So basically, the way I set my noise gate is I have auto release on. I always put auto release. Then I have a very, very fast attack and a very, very fast hold. And I just mess around with the threshold till I don't hear as much noise. Like all the small I might make while recording, I will try and get that with the threshold and any other background noise that the NS1 couldn't get. All of all my enemies, I'm try pulling up. All of all my enemies, I'm try running up. Many other people that I roll with, them I don't like me. The breaths too. The my take out all that. The breaths. All of all my enemies, I'm try pulling up. All of all my enemies, I'm try running up. Many so you can see here it's a little bit, so I, I can see increase the threshold so I don't hear those those breaths. Some people like the breaths, some people don't like it. All of all my enemies, I'm try pulling up. All of all my enemies, I'm try running up. Many other people that I roll with, them I don't like me, but I stay focused. Always get the hit to say I'm not good enough. All of all my enemies, I'm try pulling up. And the next thing, is to tune the vocals. So if you don't know how to tune the vocals, there's this app called Keyfinder. It's free. I'll put the link in the description to get the app. So it's called Keyfinder. All you have to do is drag the instrumental inside and then you press run patch analysis. And so far, the key is D minor. So if you don't know the key of your beats, use Keyfinder, it's not a hard. So you set the auto-tune to D minor. I use the fast return speed here. So I'll just use a low mill. All of my enemies, I'm try pulling up. All of my enemies, I'm try running up. It's kind of too much, so you can back it down a bit so it doesn't sound so robotic. All of my enemies, I'm try pulling up. All of my enemies, I'm try running up. Many other people that I roll with, them I don't like me, but I stay focused. Always get the hit to say I'm not good enough. And the next thing I do is add a compressor. Some people like to EQ before they compress, some people like to compress before they EQ. It depends. If you EQ before you compress, you are taking out some of the noise, then you're bringing it back again with the compressor. But if you compress first, you're actually making it as louder, then you just EQ to shape up the compressor you added first. Most times in a professional studio, um, some people have the compressors first before it goes to the EQ. Most times. But sometimes too, 
the EQ goes before the compressor. And if the EQ is going before the compressor, it's usually like the preamps, some preamps come with EQs and you can easily just tweak the EQ. My mic too has like an EQ. I don't know if you guys can see it on my mic. So I can zoom in. So you see my mic has like an EQ. My mic like has like an EQ here. And if I want to EQ my mic first, I can EQ my mic before it goes into my audio interface, if that makes sense. So let me switch back to my screen. So sometimes you might want to EQ before you compress, or you might want to compress for your EQ, but I usually compress before I EQ. So I just have a little bit of compression going on here with Arvox. All of my enemies, I'm trying to pull in now. All of my enemies, I'm trying to run in now. Many other people that I roll with, them might not like me. Basically, the compressor just makes the loud parts lower. If something is too loud, it brings it down a bit and if it's too low you just leave it the way it is depending on the setting you put in so this compressor i just used a little bit of compression there then i added another compressor again so basically i'm trying to make the vocals as flat and smooth as possible many other people that i roll with them are not like me but i stay focused so basically what i do is i use a very very fast attack on vocals most of the time because you know if they are singing and it gets super loud it's just gonna take it down and i use a very very fast release too because you know i'm just trying to get all the very very fast vocals coming in if they're going very very loud and you know coming and coming out it just takes all that loud parts out and lets it go again too so that's why i do it this compressor add the compressor first then it sounds like this all of my enemies them try pulling out all of my enemies, I'm trying to run. When he says all of my, all of my, so other parts, it's kind of ducking it down. You look at the compressor, you see when it goes, when it goes back down, it's reducing the volume. All of my enemies, I'm trying to pull now. All of my enemies, I'm trying to run it now. Many other people that I roll with, them are not like me, but I stay focused. Always hear the haters say I'm not good enough. All of my enemies. It's basically just squashing the vocals down and putting it down to one particular level. And the next thing I just add an EQ. So EQ basically I cut out most of the low end that is not really needed. And for the EQ, most of the time I have to play the beats to hear how much the vocal is actually wanted in the beats. So with EQ, most of the time I usually play the beats and hear how much I want the vocals to be in the beats or not in the beats. So let me slow the beats and you hear it. All of my enemies, I'm trying to pull out. All of my enemies, I'm trying to run it out. Many other people that I roll with, them are not like me, but I stay focused. Always hear the haters say I'm not good enough. All of my enemies, I'm trying to pull out. All of my enemies, I'm trying to run it So basically, I cut out the low end, all the low ends that is only dead. At least my safe, my safe starting point is from 60 hertz. And below i take that down then i try and take out some of the boxy frequencies the boxy frequencies usually around 250 hertz 500 hertz so i had this dip 310 all of my enemies i'm trying to pull out all of my running out so many other people that i roll with them so where's your day to say i'm not good then take out all those boxy frequencies all of my all of my enemies, I'm trying to run it now. Many other people that I roll with, them are not like me. But I Basically, the way EQ works, right, is we're just trying to shape the vocals. It's just like, you know, you have a bar. You know how you have a bar now? You have a big plate of a bar and you pick it up and you want to, like, roll it to, like, a ball so I can easily dip it inside your, <laughs> your soup before you eat it. So You take a chunk and then roll it, roll it, roll it. Mm -hmm. Don't just they, throw it in there. Yeah, don't just, don't just, don't just, don't just, don't just take it and yeah, you, know, you have to give roll it a shape. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Remember your hand is. That's how the vocals are. I try and shape the vocals. You know, as most most of the time is to test. I see a lot of people doing a lot of crazy stuff with the EQ, or they just do what they don't know what they're doing. But basically, what you want to do is cut out the low end and cut out frequencies that you feel is clashing with the beats. Sometimes you don't really want to overthink EQ because I'm not going to lie to you. Um, if you have a cheap mic, basically most of the time, the problem is not even with EQ. Is like you can't really do much with it. That's how the mic is. That's the color of the mic. If you wanted to get a particular kind of sound, you probably have to change the mic you're using, or you have to use a preamp 
or you have to find like something that has a color to that adds color to the vocals and there's no secrets there's no cheats plugin that you just put on the mic and it just starts sounding good you know so the mic has a tone on its own if you wanted a different quality you probably have to get another mic or you know try and mess around and sculpt the mic even the mics even the mic vsts that you guys have like state digital mics basically all they're doing is just eq they have the way they eq the mics to shape them the way they want it to sound you know but basically i look at it like this there are three bands the low end the mid frequency and the high frequency so you listen to it what is missing and what is not missing then if the low end is missing you can try to boost some of the low end if the uh, mid frequency is kind of, kind of muddy you take some of it out if it's if it's like if it lacks mid you add some mid if it lacks high end you add some high end that's basically it because your instrumental has already taken some parts of the frequency so if you are adding eq to your vocals and it's disturbing the beats then you're getting it wrong so you need to listen to the beats too and try and make sure the, the vocal sits in the beats that's the secret you know depending on whatever mic you have so let's go ahead let's go ahead so but i stay focused always your day to say i'm not good enough all of my enemies them trap so the next thing i added was another compressor cla compressor i love this compressor i use it on all my vocals all the time all of my enemies them try pulling out so after doing a bit of the eq i sit try and compress the vocals again to just make everything sound more leveled no all of my enemies them try running out Many other people that I roll with, them I know like me, but I stay focused. Always get the hit to say I'm not good enough. All then the next thing, I had an EQ. Basically, this EQ, I still didn't like the way this mid side was sounding. All of my enemies, I'm trying to pull out. All of my enemies, I'm trying to run out. Many other people that I roll with, them I know like me, but I stay focused. Always get the hit to say I'm not like I said, there are different ways you want to add stuff to your beats in here i wanted the bass to actually be banging i didn't want the vocals to be full in the low end frequency so i tried to like get rid of this side so that the bass can also have some more body there then next thing i added was another compressor again you know just to just level level it out every time i eq i try and compress again so that it still kind of, kind of sounds leveled if i had too much high end i try and decompress again because as you're adding eq you are actually either you're adding to the volume or you're reducing for the volume Give me so all of my enemies, I'm trying to pull out. All of my enemies, I'm trying to run out. Many of the people that I roll with. So after that, I go back to adding my sense and my other effects. So I have a send, I have different send effects. Most of the time, it's just reverb and delay people want to add, but you can always add other crazy stuff like saturation to add more color. You can add reverb, you can add modulation, flanger, other, all, all, all that stuff. Them I know like me, but 